Hello everyone, in this small video I will show you the ESP32 S3 DevKit C1 development board from Expressive and how to program it using the USB WART and the native USB interfaces. Stay tuned! I just got my hands on the ESP32 S3 DevKit C1 board from Expressive. The one I got has 32 MB of flash and 16 MB of PS RAM. These chips are a general purpose Wi Fi and Bluetooth low energy microcontrollers. The board came very well protected in a rigid and cushioned card box. This is an entry level development board equipped with the ESP32 S3 Room family chips. My ship is the ESP32 S3 Room 2. And as previously mentioned, it has 32 MB of flash and 16 MB of PS RAM. Most of the input-output pins on the model are broken out to the pin headers. This one is version 1.1 and, unlike the clones, it has micro USB ports, one for the UART communication and the other for the native USB. I bought mine from Expressive Official Store on AliExpress. I chose the original version because I didn't want to deal with issues from clones or counterfeit parts. It's safer, more reliable and saves time in the long run. The price was about 18 euros plus 5 euros for shipping. When connecting to your computer, make sure you use a USB cable with data lines. Some charging only cables won't work. You can test your cable with another board that you know is working. In my case, a Wemos D1. I started by plugging the board into the UART USB port and the computer recognized it, it immediately. The default program lights up the built-in RGB LED model with multiple colors. One big advantage of an official board is that you don't need to worry about drivers. Your computer should detect it right away. Now, let's program the board. First, go to File, Preferences, and add the Expressive Stable Release link to the Boards Manager. You can find this link in the Arduino ESP32 Expressive page. Then in Tools, Board, Boards Manager, or simply click the second icon on the left panel, search for Expressive, and install the package. This may take a little while. Next, select the Board Tools, Board, ESP32. ESP32 S3 dev model. Since the board is already connected, it should also appear under Tools, Port. You can even confirm it by selecting Tools, Get Board Info. Now let's configure the parameters. Flash mode OPI 80 MHz. As both the flash and PS RAM work in Octal XPI, one can find this information in the board's page. For this model, OT stands for Octal SPI. Then flash size 32 megabytes. Partition scheme. One compatible with 32 megabytes. PS RAM, OPI, PS RAM. Finally, upload mode, WART0 hardware CDC. That's it for the setup. Time to upload the first sketch, the blinking RGB example. Go to File, Examples. ESP32, GPIO, Blink RGB. 
Since I'm using the 1.1 version of this board, the GPIO for the RGB LED has changed. According to expressive documentation and also printed on the silk screen, it moved from GPIO 48 to GPIO 38. So, I had to redefine RGB built in as GPIO 38, otherwise, the example wouldn't work. Once that was fixed, everything was ready to upload. And because this is an official board, I didn't need to press any buttons, just click upload. The code starts by enabling the RGB driver on GPIO 38. From that moment, the pin can be controlled with normal high-low levels. The example then cycles through red, green and blue, each for one second. A simpler effect compared to the factory firmware, which shows more colors. Next, I tested programming through the native USB port. When I switch ports, a new COM port appeared on my computer. I select it. Then change the upload mode to USB OTG CDC Tiny USB. I also modify the delays to 500 milliseconds to make the effect more noticeable. Again, no button pressing needed. Just click upload. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the ESP32 S3 DevKit C1. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.